Howdy again, it's Tubal Kane, your YouTube shop teacher, and welcome to this episode of What Is It? Mystery Tool Series, and this is number 34B, The Answer. Go back and watch 34A if you want to see the excitement of what these items are. But anyway, before I start this, and there's really only three items on this, let me just say that I'm working on prototypes for a small wobbler type engine and the whole idea here is to make an engine simple enough for boys or beginners to make with only a drill press and with readily available hardware that you can get downtown or from your own scrap pile so watch for that video and I hope there's some interest in that but then again I never know when I start a project now the first items here we had plenty of people cheat on. Remember this is a cobbler's tool or even used in a shoe store to, to uh, uh, allow the, the, the man to make room for your corns on, on your feet so it stretches the shoe. Well this is really a, a toe stretcher is what it is and many people cheated and I'm kind of halfway glad you did because I flashed the patent and that's kind of fun to look those up. But if you look up Google patents here, here it is. There's the patent number, and that's what, way, way back in 1944. And there it shows it being used to stretch the toe of a shoe, a slightly different design. Often the patents looked different than the final product, but the spring there, you can see, is, is different. All kinds of different views of it. And I believe that there was some kind of a button on the end of this to do the lifting something like this and maybe there was different sizes of buttons but that that was missing this is just a, a knob and uh, remember this item was given to me or loaned to me by Scott Savage both of these shoe items so some of you surmise that since this was a uh, shoe type of tool that, that this might be too from the same person and uh, thank you Scott Savage for that and I'll be sending these back to him I've had them for several months but the idea with this of course is that he would put it into a shoe or a boot like this in this manner and be able to I guess stretch it I don't know if that's because somebody had a sore foot or they're trying to make a shoe that doesn't fit fit at this time. So anyway, that's what that item is. It's uh, what they call it here, of course, is a shoe toe lifter. Mr. Clausen, the uh, patentee, and I suppose he thought he'd get rich, but I doubt it. And the next item was from Jimmy DeResta. Look at his videos, although I don't need to promote him because he, boy, does he get the, the looks and uh, his videos are great. And I was just in New York, but of course I was with a group and I couldn't uh, go see Jimmy, but he said uh, be sure and come and see me. But now he lives in upstate New York and that would have been quite impossible being on a bus and with a large group. But this is what Jimmy uh, had sent among other things, and thank you Jimmy and it's patent pending and really it isn't a conclusive answer on this we just know that it's some kind of work holding vice or or device and we don't know exactly what it was for but it is an intricate and an interesting mechanism and and we probably never will know since about 10,000 people looked at this video and and I, I was really doubtful that anybody could guess on this because I certainly don't know what it is but it's interesting and, and uh, thank you Jimmy. Next item. And finally submitted by my friend Gary who is a clock and a watchmaker and he had many interesting tools when I was in his shop several months ago and he let me take pictures of some and now these specialized pliers that I've shown here that have really very weird jaws come on phone guess we gotta look at it this way and the purpose of those was 
a watchmaker or jeweler would straighten the cases on pocket knives, uh, pocket watches, watches that had been dropped or bent or whatever, and that was rather soft material, and they could work their way around the rim, I suppose, where the bends were, and, and work the, uh, uh, the material back, gold or whatever precious metal it was, back to shape so that it would snap shut. I, I think that's what Gary told me on this, so that's kind of interesting, and thanks, Gary, for letting me in your shop, and, uh, looking through your stuff so and he's got as many tools as I got or more but they're all more uh, toward machine shop well there are a lot of machine shop items but also a lot of watchmaking items so alright uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, be sure and watch some of my other videos I have a lot of different shop videos this is Tubal Kane saying so long for now